interested in the original grinding tool. What I'm ah, is that for the for a lot of the initial work on it, or all the initial work on it? Right. Is that the one you use for all of them? Yes, well, we've got quite a quite a few of these tools from, mm -hmm. from a previous project. You stick the uh, bits of that pitch, or yes, it's stuck on the pitch. Yes, it's got a little bit contaminated now with um, with uh, glass fibre um, resin. Just sticking to my finger. Mm. Um, do come through. Right. And, um, oh, I have something I can show you. I was running this earlier on today. I'll just put some more from it. so crude can you figure well, something to that, such that, a that will rough it out to within a couple of thou or so of the right radius. <laughs> well, it's incredible. <laughs> yes, but a couple of thou because it's um, very, very crude yes. indeed because you want it to go down to fractions of a hundredth of a thou. Mm. So it is really pretty pretty crude. That's I mean presumably there's a time when you built your first grinding machine. Yes. Did it just work like magic from the first day one or is there a black art tool? certainly a black art in polishing and figuring. Um, grinding is relatively simple actually, it's a relatively crude. Uh, uh, it depends how far you're going back, you see, because I was, uh, when my only mirror that I made as an amateur was a six inch um, F8 um, right. standard paraboloid. And I got so intrigued with it, so I decided to give up chemistry and um, uh, go into optics, because I thought, well, I'd never forget to be a research chemist, and I was much more interested in astronomy. Yes, you want to see the exact diameter. Well, I was curious to the precise aperture. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's reading just about 19 and a half inches. Yeah. Perhaps just a hint over that now. Yeah. 19 point. Well, that, that there was French. And so. Now, let's do this sensor. Four ninety six. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Four ninety six. That's a maximum. Yeah. It's not got much of a bevel on the moment. I should have to open it up a bit more. But, um, it depends how much of a bevel. Impressive size. Depends how much of a bevel you want actually. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what you're looking for. Yes. Yeah. 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 Y
down to flat. Right. And um, you can see what they think, how bubbly it was. Yes. It's one of those discs that um, uh, Joblin's, who've got the um, uh, license to make Pyrex in the UK, yeah. I mean, back in the early 30s, they were casting them up at that size. And after the war, they only made them as 12 inches, maximum size they cast them. But they're just coming back into making sheets of this stuff up to an inch, but it's about two inches thick. Right. And that's going to be available up to about 30 inches diameter. The maximum you can get out of that seed prax is about 19 and a yes. half inches. Yes. Smashing, please. Thanks very much, mate. Yeah. Okay, let's smash it. Cheers. Yeah, so that should give us plenty of time. Too short. No, no. Obviously, yeah. the, the mirror is in one end. I mean, really, it's largely defined by, you know, I want the focus 145 millimetre outside. Yeah. So that'll determine the sort of length of the mirror to the second. I wasn't sure about the shading you wanted to yeah. be younger. Uh, just a bit of overhang. Um, so, you know, if, what happens if the if there's no overhang, light can get in Precise. to the camera. So you need yeah. you do need a bit of overhang. I mean, yeah. it'd probably keeping it this size. I mean, yeah. unless it was a problem with weight, keeping it this. Um. Point suspension. Yeah. Um, that's not finished yet. You can see got a slot adjustment there, so we can set it up to just touch the mirror. And listen, right. It's a slick under yeah. there. Like that. Well. Wait there again, you see. I've kept it. I don't go any thinner than that. I don't want to go to 3 Um Brown aluminium. They get this fixed to the outside of the. Uh, what's it? As your segments. They go on the outside of the tube. Right. Bolted through. And it's stuck on. I can't really fit all the rest of it. That is let right into there. Adjustment on threads here. So if you need to just freak it out, being my brother. 19.5. Um, 19.5, which is up there too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So I thought to myself, right, as you can see, yeah. I just made that a 16th yes. hour. I can almost put that to sleek on it. It's nice to put a bit of sleek on it, actually. It cushions it a bit. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do there. Now, he hasn't given me the size yet. What is it? 6 inch minor axis. Uh, I think it's five inch minor axis. Right. Yeah. What I'm doing is making a slave plate to go yeah. on there. Okay. Yeah, I think it's five. He hasn't said whether it's going to be shaped or okay. elliptical. He hasn't told me. Yeah, that's, so. that's exactly what I expected because that's the same as the 14 inch of the wide and plate. That's right. Yeah. 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 That's what I got right. up last week. And ball location, push pulls. No. Um, that's all. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's good and solid. It's not going to move anywhere, yeah. Martin. We've got. Half an inch of adjustment right. there for right. lining up. Um, if you want 90 degrees, you've got two flats equally opposed. Excellent. Right. I wonder how you're going to do that. Yeah. It's it's as quick as that. How are you going to do it? I don't want you taking anything off. No, no, no. 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 Don't want it dropping on the No. Video. Christ. <laughs> Rattling down that tube, you know. Oh, no. No, thanks very much. <coughs> there you go. And swing it straight right. over. Yeah. Um, once we've got the alignment done, I'm going to turn up the collar in there just to drop in, so you right. don't have to mess around with focusing that for the right. Curve veins, definitely. Um, but uh, I'd be interested because I've got the, the old one you gave, uh, 14 inch, was like one, one thick one. One thick one, right like there. Um, yeah. But that's right. Uh, my, yeah, I, four veins appeals to me. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah. fine. I might. It is supposed to be better for planetary work. It is supposed to be. I'm not actually going to use it much for planetary work, but... Uh, well, I just say it's entirely up to you. Yeah, I'll try that. Okay. Yeah. Because sure. the other thing... Uh, That's why I didn't finish them. I've no. gone that far, you know. Because Jim is probably really pointing out this anyway, because the, when the flap doesn't actually sit in the middle... No, it doesn't. Uh, it's it's off, it, actually, it actually moves uh, about a bit. But Jim I always mount them about that much off the centre line. Yes. Yeah, especially with a fast yeah. uh, reflector. It's offset more. Yeah. Just the... Hi, okay. Just the one... Right, Martin, your circles. Right, yes, they look very nice. It's the only way I can do it, obviously, yep. is to get it to travel with the wheel. Um, that is adjustable, obviously. Right. Uh, unscrew your little thing there. Yeah. And you adjust all that exactly the same as your seat time. Yep. Now, the other one, there. See when you move yeah. the sure of this. Yes. We don't want to set it in concrete and <laughs> find we've got to turn it round. <laughs>